So last episode was a roller coaster. Remind me to never do that ever again. It is official. We have now been on this series for five months. And I know you, man, have been very patient. You've been dying to see me get to some of this new stuff. Today is the day we finally get to do it. We are done with all of the current worlds. We can now move on to holiday mashup at last. So I think the way we access it is we go in here. Use your holiday mashup key to unlock the calamitous celebrations of holiday mashup. Lead the way. Let's do it. Let's get started. Brand new world. Wow, it's Feast of Us already? This is highly implausible. The yearly event referred to as Feast of Us is not supposed to arrive for another 152 days. I'm not complaining. Maybe. Time has jumped forward on its own. Yeah, because that's the thing that just happens. Interesting observation, user Dave. Time appears to have been messed with in some way. Perhaps it hasn't moved over on its own, however. Doesn't matter. Look, print. Fuck. Been a long day. Doesn't matter. Look, Penny. Presents. I love presents. You're easy to satisfy, user Dave. You sure? I mean, just bearing in mind that the whole synopsis of the original PVZ2 is we had to go through and beat the entire game just so he could eat the same taco a second time. As opposed to just buying another one, I would beg to differ. My readings detect that these are oh... Would you believe I've been doing this for over a decade? My readings detect that these are no ordinary presents, however. They could contain powerful assets we could use against the zombies. I see, I see. So we're going to start this off nice and basic. Oh, just a straight up plain level. See, this is the thing. Now we're actually, we're at the beginning of this world. So I wonder if it's going to be considerably easier. Is this going to be like, is this going to be like the beginning of all the other worlds where they're going to actually ease us into it rather than throw us right in the deep end? Well, since we're keeping it basic, maybe I'll try some stuff out. Tell you the first thing I want to try. First thing on the agenda is shadow pea definitely want to try this thing and since we're doing moonflower i'll bring do you know what? i'll bring nocturine because i wasn't actually paying attention to what this thing did it explodes and it actually creates the same aura that moonflower does temporarily but it does create the same thing so this is holiday mashup I'm actually kind of excited for this Let's see what the new world brings that's a good start. Uh, am I supposed to know what's going to come out of that? Or... I mean, I'll put a Shadow Pea back here straight away. So this thing does piercing damage, doesn't it? So... It's going to be like a mini laser beam. Okay. It's not the worst damage. I can't tell if that was actually... More or less powerful than laser beam. Kind of hard to tell. I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, see this thing. I think it does do damage. Like if I chuck this down here. It explodes and it actually creates this kind of aura. So I could then even... Hypothetically, I could chuck a Shadow P there if I wanted to. Not that that was a, even a remotely intelligent thing to do. Oh, I forgot Shadow P does that. Hang on. That's its other effect. So basically, this thing is a laser bean and Grimrose all rolled into one plant. Take my money. That's actually pretty solid. Oh, we're definitely getting more of these down. 100%. What about plant food? Doom Shroom is its plant food? We fuck with this thing. Laser Bean Grimrose has Doom Shroom as its plant food. Yes! Where has this thing been my whole life? Oh, there was a Johnny inside the present? I didn't even notice that. Man, is it actually going to be worth investing in shadow plants now? Is that actually going to be a thing? Never thought we'd see the day. I could get stuff down way quicker. Actually recharges fast. I didn't even notice that. Got all the sun, and as per, I'm not spending it. It's only I do best. I know this is the first level, so it's going to be kind of basic, but I want to see just kind of how much I can build this up by the end. Let's see. Oh, it's a melon pole. Oh, easy. Let's go. Actually, wait. Why the fuck am I doing that? I've got this. Doom Shroom. Oh. I didn't quite have the desired effect. Let me, let me try. In fact, you know what? Let me do this. Nocturine. Drop him there. And plant no. food. I can't plant food. Okay, do you know what? Thank you. And that is level one. 
What plants do we get in this world? Actually, that's a question. Am I not supposed to get cattail at some point? I know for a fact they put cattail in this mod. When do I get cattail? Is that in this world? Let's just have a cheeky little gander. So sapling's there. We already got that. How is this? We have ghost pepper. I think I already have that. Uh, what else? Dandelion. I've been using a bit of dandelion recently. That thing's not bad. Cactus. Jalapeno. Blooming heart. Okay, so maybe not. What's this thing? Boing setter. Okay, no way. So when do I get... Is it not in this world? Is it in Steam Ages? It's in Steam Ages. Fuck! User Dave, I was running some calculations and the most probable cause for the time shifts is... Who would have thought? This guy? Your attempts at preventing my final plan have truly failed. What is your final- sorry, wait, let me say this properly. What is your final plan, boss man? It's what I've always wanted, the best vacation possible. I'm using my fully developed time manipulation technology in order to always make it be a holiday. That was the plan? I've been playing this shit for five months. That was your plan? Oh, fuck off. You've managed to make a device that twists all time in relation to itself. Yes, look, it's been a long time passion project. Would have been easier had you not been intervening constantly. It all began when I had to pull the plug on Project Paradox. Dave over here required a taco to get off my back and allow me to clean things up. But during that cleaning up, interesting results were made aware to me. We're not speaking right now. I don't care. I realize time could truly be manipulated on a grander scale than I ever attempted before. Lots of experiments later, and I got myself a time manipulating vehicle of my own. Now I'm never going to let another day fall to monotony or dullness again. Amen to that. Amen to the five months of my life that I wasted to find out that was his great plan. Oh, hang on. Whoa, we got a new zombie here. Hold up. I kind of skipped over the last bit of text. He said something about stun. I, th I think I know where they're going with this. They've put a whole line of stunions here. I think they've done this so they can show me that I presume this guy is probably immune to it. Are you immune to shadow pee? So what are we actually talking in terms of damage on these things? Because it looks like it does do damage. I'm just not sure. Oh, that's actually not bad. Oh, that can actually kill. Oh, I didn't think it was that good. After I saw that it has the little shadow effect, I thought that was kind of its main gimmick. I didn't think it actually had the power to kill stuff. I thought it was going to be one of them ones where it's like, oh yeah, it does damage. It does one damage. But yeah, it's sick. Thanks. Oh, there's this guy. Hold on. Oh, wait. No, he's, uh, he's nicking my son. Oh, I didn't realize we were dealing in these ones again. And this is a luck of the zombie roller skater. Okay, so what was he going on about hit stun then? Like, was he just... Hello? Right, you take him. I'm gonna have to replace that now. And see you later. Okay, that's crazy. That's is... that isn't just listen, we didn't get cattail, but we got Doom Shroom. I will take any dub that I can get. Honestly, dude, just do it again. It just I mean apart from the bucket heads. Like it just wipes out the whole map. I thought grape shot was stupid. Oh, I actually don't have another plant food. Uh, we could throw one of these down, I guess. Do you know what? Didn't even need it in the end. Nice and easy. Thank you for that. Hey, look, it's that plant that I started to really like and then they nerfed it into the floor. Hmm, <laughs> very cool. Oh, Valentine's? Do you know what? I might just skip through all this. I don't care about your backstory. Oh, God. These guys. Okay, so what they're basically doing here is they're sending shit from other worlds. They're just dressing it up differently. Later, bitch. Oh. That really was a gift. Uh, I'm going to have to do this, though. Excuse me. Saplings are all well and good. I'm going to need a bit more than that. Um... See, now this is where I fucked up. Why am I putting... Why am I laying out my fat beats like this? What? 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 I don't know how we're going to make this work. Well, that's not good. Oh, I've made a pigsty of this. Hold on. How have I managed this? How am I dying on level three? How am I this shit? See, this is interesting. Why didn't I consider using sapling in the fat garlic setup? 
Is that something that I ever tried before, or did we just kind of skip right over that one? I don't know. I know they nerfed Sapfling, but I reckon... I reckon we could still try that. If we haven't already. There's a there's a good chance I may have already... Look, we've been doing this for damn near half a year. I can't remember everything that I've tried. Given enough time, we could get an aloe fat garlic with Sapflings in the back. That could be a genuine setup. The only thing about that is... That is going to take a hot minute to set up. Like, I'm, it's going to take me damn near half an hour to set that up. I think that's my problem with setups like that, is I always think of them and think, you know, in theory, it sounds great, but by the time you get it set up, the level's done anyway. Or you're already dead. Usually the latter. What is it? What do you want? I had 20 messages in an hour from you. Inconsiderate vehicle. Is not an insult I ever thought I'd hear. Zomboss, this technology of yours is highly unstable. I predict that after about a month, the timeline will collapse. After that, the damage to the fabric of reality may be unrepairable. Oh, reality this, reality that. All you do... <laughs> I have the perfect comeback to all your worries. I don't care. Ooh. Just straight up hitting with a didn't ask. Okay, so what on earth? Is that supposed to be a pylon mech? Fuck sake, that's a barrel, that's... We got bullies, we got jetpacks. Yeah, so basically, it's all just the zombies that we've been fighting up to this point from the previous worlds. They're all just looking a bit different. Here's what I want to try for this one. This is one that I tried on the sly, and I actually thought it was quite good. Primal Sunflower, Dandelion, Blover, Hurricane. That's, that's pretty much the setup. And then just the usual fillers. See, Dandelion's already kind of an interesting plant because it can attack across multiple lanes. But I didn't even realize until a couple of days ago that you can use a Blover or a Hurricane behind the Dandelion, and it kind of... I don't... Let me just show you. I mean, there was a lot to block it just then. Are we okay here, or...? I like the way this one's attacking everything other than the zombie directly in front of it. I'm pretty sure it works with Hurricane as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. We need to get rid of these presents. That's the problem. We'll hit a Blover... Right there. Is, is that supposed to be a birthday bucket head or something? Because he just ate, like, ten of those. Oh, wait, what? Pay attention, dipshit. Once we got the last few of these set up, I'm telling you what, they ain't getting through it. Uh, can I push him back? Yes, good. Thank you, Hurricane. All right. This is pretty much it. This is pretty much the setup. Don't really need much more than this. I'll send him back, though. There we go again. Oh, that's big. Uh, let's hit one of these ones. Slow them all down. One of them. Hurricane. Mate, combinations. That's what I'm talking about. So this is the thing. Once you've actually got them all set up, you want a big damage surge, you just hit one of them blovers or hurricanes. That's it. Shit's easy. That was such a waste. <laughs> And got him. Oh, you ain't surviving that. The absolute onslaught. There we go. That's Ghost Pepper. I'm level with you. I don't think I've actually used this thing in my life. Haunts all zombies that pass by. And explodes after a limited time. I'm listening. Survive the zombie attack with the given plants. I wonder if one of them is going to be Ghost Pepper. After hearing that description, yes, here we go. Oh, see, now I kind of want to try this. Haunts the zombies and then explodes after a limited time. I'll stick it like right there. Wow. I That killed him kind of quick. What kind of explosion are we talking about? That looks like it could go into the next lane. The way I'm going to test it out is by putting it there. And let's see if this one dies when it explodes. Let's see it. Hmm. Interesting plan. How quickly are you killing the bucket head? Not overly quick. Okay. So it is limited in its capacity. I don't know. It didn't seem that bad, though. I like how quickly it kills the brown coats. Um. Interesting design. See you later. <laughs> Get the fuck 
We definitely need more citrons. Hold on. Uh, ooh. I might send that one. Thank you for that. That's it. Give me a sec. Nope. Mm-mm. Oh, I'm kind of dying here. Hold on. Nope. Hold on, hold on. Sorry, I saw Octodad and I just saw Red. I want to deal with his ass. Okay. So... It kind of seems like they can't actually kill the Ghost Pepper. Probably because it's a ghost. So it might not do the most damage in the world, but it seems like once I've kind of put it there, there's nothing they can do about it. It's They have to just kind of suck it up. Sometimes the old ways work. You know, you get a second one of these. I don't even care. Let's do that. So, oh, he's dead. Okay, so I don't know. How do we feel about ghost pepper? It's an interesting sort of flavor. Fight infinity. Sorry. What do you mean fight infinity? We ain't playing heroes. Welcome to the yearly hero convention. I did say I was reaching for some of these. You'll be crushed by the great hero, Infinity, before you get to question my choices further. When we were scrolling through the map, I noticed there were quite a few boss levels. Is that what this is going to be? We're going to play a series of levels, go through each holiday. So we'll go through Christmas, we'll go through Halloween, Valentine's, all that shit. And then once we've done the cycle, then we have to go against the hero's boss. Is that how this is going to work? Because that's kind of cool. Survive the zombie attack with limited seed slots. But I get to pick. Ooh. Okay, okay, hold on. I get force. Jesus Christ. What did we just play that required exactly four slots? Exactly that. Controversially, I'm going to let these two lanes go. I'm going to just, I'm going to let them go. Because I want to get this set up. Let's get the first one of these down. We have lawn mowers. We can make the most of it for now. Going to take them a minute to get through those primal sunflowers. In fact, you know, let's push him back, make him wait a bit longer. Music, though. SB? The fuck? I haven't seen you in this game. The hell's SB saying? Am I dickhead, or have we actually never faced a Super Brains in a PvZ tower defense game before? I actually don't think we have. Do one of these. That's good. Oh, I did the lane next to it as well. How does it... Jesus Christ, they... All right, dandelion. How does it determine how much of that is going to do? What if I do it again? And then it just did that lane. I have no idea how this works. SB doesn't seem to be doing anything too ridiculous. When I use Blover, does it just like pick two at random or something? Why did it do bottom middle? Is that the infinity? Seems to be a bit larger than the rest. Oh, he's just cloning himself on a madness. Hold on. Get him. He's dead. Ooh, this lane. I think we got this. I don't know what the fuck he was doing just then. He was like... Let's do this. And that is game. It's an interesting boss level. Kind of fucking with this world so far. I like how we actually got some unique ideas in here. Let me just double check this. So yeah, we've done the six. So then are we going to do another six? Yeah, and then there's another boss. And then it's another six. And then another boss. And then another six. And another boss. Okay, well that actually... That's perfect. Easy way to divide these episodes. So I think I'm going to call it there. This has been Holiday Mashup. I like it so far. It's not bad. Honestly, having been playing this mod and doing effectively just bonus levels in all the worlds after the original final boss, I don't know, it feels kind of weird to come back and start a world from the beginning. Like, it's the first time in the series we've actually done that. But I'm looking forward to seeing what holiday mashup has in store. And as always, if you've enjoyed the episode, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay tuned for the next one, and I'll see you next time.